Welcome back to Who Chose. So I've done a little bit of work on the NFT system. Uh, I actually moved one of the rails across uh, and I've added in a mesh to that side of the NFT um, to allow me to have climbing plants like beans that I'll show you how I put in there uh, in a second. Uh, to climb up that side of the NFT. And this is north, which in my hemisphere means sun. And that should give me some nice green backdrop um, and a really nice canopy of beans uh, throughout the winter. So what I want to do today is I want to show you uh, the technique that I actually remove these beans from the 50-50 mix uh, of vermiculite and perlite and move them straight into the hydroponic system, which you can do with some plants that are, you know, um, vigorous growers and have a longer stem and develop a root mass really quickly. And the easiest way uh, to get them out of that vermiculite perlite mix is actually just to dunk the containers uh, into water and let that little quirk of the system that uh, we saw in previous videos do its trick and separate the mix completely. You can then just uh, scoop the perlite from the top of the water and you're left with your seedlings and your vermiculite and your vermiculite has fallen to the bottom of the water. And this is the best way to separate those seedlings uh, without interfering with the roots too much. And you really uh, want to keep that uh, root structure intact uh, to prevent shock to the plant. So let's have a look at that. So these are the beans that are actually planted in the seed raising video. And I mean, they're beautiful, healthy beans. Uh, <laughs> really pleased with this technique but uh removing them from uh the growing media is the part that i'm concerned about uh because their roots are intermingled and the growing media uh does have you know uh, a porous structure that the roots can latch onto but i figured that we can use uh the quirk of the system uh, where the growing media separates uh, under its own buoyancy um, to get the growing media from the roots. Um, so this is the first time I've tried it. I'll give you a close-up of the beans first. These are the roots. Like, there's oh, just beautiful root system down there. All right, let's give it a go. Now, uh, the reason I'm doing this is because uh, I'm actually going to put these straight into the system. The stalks are long enough that I can get the roots directly into the nutrient system, uh, nutrient film. Uh, however, I'll use this technique to separate the seedlings to put them in my propagator as well for smaller seedlings. Anyway, uh, here we go. Like the whole container actually floats <laughs> when it's submerged. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So if we just let it soak for a bit, all the perlite's coming to the top. Might need a larger container. <sighs> that oh <laughs> it just washes off perfect for your nft <laughs> and i've made a walkway <laughs> i needed a way to access uh this side 
of the NFT uh, so that I can, you know, plant without having a wall of green, which I hope a wall of bean. <laughs> All right, so now it's just a matter of gently untangling the roots, throwing them in your park, and then they go straight in your NFT. <laughs> And they just it just washes off, and you've got a perfectly healthy root structure. Yeah, nice. And as you can see, the vermiculite sinks and the perlite floats. And that mixture helps to, um, I guess, liberate the, the roots um, from the mixture. And it just gives you this like lovely free rooted plant uh, where the roots are very, like really undisturbed for being immediately removed from media. So now that I know it works, using this technique, I can set up my propagator without having to worry about uh, damaging the roots um, every time I go to pluck a seedling out of the mix. Uh, I can just And you don't even need to worry about the vermiculite and the perlite because it's inert. So it can just go straight in with the roots if it's stuck on it. Look at that, a full propagator. I love a full propagator. Um, and have I got some treats for you guys. I've got a slow-mo camera coming in the mail and I know what everyone wants. I mean, it's what I want, slow-mo plant footage. All right, let's get this under lights. I hope you enjoyed that technique. Um, I'm glad that I could come up with a way uh, you know, to get the seedlings out of the substrate um, without shocking the roots too much um, because that's what I was worried about, uh, not being able to get them out of uh, that 50-50 uh, mixture. Uh, however, it just separates as soon as you put it in water. So uh, once you've got the pearl out off the top of the water and you can see uh, the vermiculite just falls to the bottom and uh, the seedlings float in solution and they clump together sometimes. But uh, they're really easy just to pluck out and throw straight in your propagator. 
I'm actually going to have to start um, using less seeds as well because um, the germination rate in the mix is like almost 100% and um, I don't like sacrificing seedlings just because I don't have enough propagator space. So all good news. <laughs> I'll see you next time.